Alright, so basically the gist of, the, of getting into the worlds is this. You've got to find a picture of the world that has so many jiggies missing. And then you put the jiggies in, and you, um... Come on. Bottle's just explained it. So, boom. You fill it in, and ta-da, the door opens. Yay! And the sign appears. And now we're going. Alright, so this is the first level. Um, it's really easy to clear this whole thing pretty quickly. Um, so the, the first order of business, usually in any level, is to learn all the moves. Because that's going to let you actually get all the jiggies in the level. Now, um, Banjo... Tui actually, and the reason why I don't like it quite as much as Banjo Kazooie is, um, in order to clear a level, in order to get all the jiggies and notes and everything in, in a level, you actually have to go get moves from other levels. In Banjo Kazooie, most levels can be cleared the first time you ever enter the door, um, and you don't have to actually go get any other moves or anything. To, um, you don't. <sighs> You don't have to actually get any other moves or anything in order to and Those guys are Jinjos, you can read what, read what they do right there. So you'll see I'm using my... I'm swimming, but I'm using the two different types of swimming you have in this game. You push B and you do a broad stroke, which basically moves you way faster. Um, you hold down A, and you just kick, which is much easier to steer that way, but you go much, much, much slower. Um, and I believe this boy is unkillable. If you hit him, he just gets angry. And then charges at you. The stated purpose of this move is actually to go up slopes easily. Um, the purpose that I use it for most of the time is just because you go twice as fast using this move as with any of your other um, modes of transportation. So when you see me walking around, usually I'll be walking around like this. Uh, this is a little harder, harder to control with an N64 controller than it was with an Xbox one. See, if I were to let go of the town trot on here, then I would basically just slide right down. Which you don't. Um, there's a jiggy there in the middle. What I'm going to do is grab this mumbo token first. And if you just read that quickly, um, that's what... Uh, there's ten of those jiggies in every level. That's actually what let me open the, the door to this level. And you'll notice the camera's all over the place, that's because uh, this is an N64 game, and in N64 games, platformers especially were famous for having terrible cameras that were really hard to control. I think I've got to get basically the ground pound move before I can grab that. 
I don't remember what they call it in this game. I call it Gumball. Alright, so I should get that ground pound right here, if I remember. Beak Buster, there it is. Yeah, there's an enemy in one of these things. Uh, notice the notes that I'm getting. Those are going to let me open doors later on in Princess Lair. There is a hundred in each level, and usually I try to get them all in one go if I can. They can be kind of a pain. Hey, it's another ginger. So, oh, he's left his purple and then I get him ready. Hey, and there's a G. Awesome. I think I know just where that other ginger is actually. So it's a mumbo token, um, and I'll show you what that is here, and what that does here in just a second. Now I'm getting these jiggies really fast, um, do keep in mind that this is, uh, the easiest level of the game, so this is gonna, gonna go pretty fast. Alright, so the sign up there says I need five mumbo tokens. So I still have a little ways to go. But I can get up in his rafters. Usually you can. Not every time, but. Looks like I can just pick up some things up here. Uh, I don't know. So you'll see in just a few minutes what Mumbo does. Mm. Look at that, another G. Better. Moving on. And there you go. You'll see that after rescuing that Jinjo, I've now got five of the Jiggies in the level, which is half of all of them, so... Um, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty fast level. I think I'm about to go get two more here. If I can avoid falling in water, which in theory should be pretty easy to do, but apparently not for me to know. Oh, so I don't have to use the ground pound on those, I just have to make him throw his oranges on them. Ta-da! That's right, I found it. Cool. Take it. it should be over here. Hey, look at that. Another jiggy. See how easy this is? I'm about to get another one for knocking the monkey off the tree. Or gorilla off the tree. Whatever he is. And here's where I learned to shoot eggs. Because you have to be able to shoot something. 
<laughs> Good fun. I think the other, uh, the other mumbo token is in the tower, or the anthill in the middle of the wall. Hey! Alright, so each level has a switch in it. You hit that switch, a grunty switch, and a jiggy will appear in Grunty's, Grunty's lair. Um, a lot of times that jiggy will appear in a place that's actually kind of hard to get to. Uh, you won't be able to get to it until you've not only um, hit the switch from the level, but learned all the moves from that level too. So it's a gating system. We're eventually going to get over here. There we go. Right, so let's go knock the monkey out of the tree. Big box is pretty big on that monkey. Pretty sure there's a mumbo token in here if I remember right. A little bit gruesome for a uh, game that for children. The ants fly into pieces, and they're clearly anthropomorphic because they talk. Or not anthropomorphic, they're clearly sentient. That's really what I meant to say. So now I can go and get the jiggy at the top of that tower. Oh right, I remember what that was. Alright, now let's get the last jiggy and get out of here. And now you'll see what Mumbo does. So there's some pretty fun transformations he does in this game. Uh, this one's an ant, which is pretty tame, but there's some there's some that are much better. Excuse me, termite, not ant. Go! 
Whee! Alright, so there should be a Jiggy up here. So there are three notes around right here that I missed. So. Usually when there's three notes that you're missing, um, they're all together somewhere. There's just a bunch of a group that you missed. So as soon as I find those, we're out here. No, I'm gonna go turn back because this being a termite is slow and annoying. See, we gained another viewer. Welcome. of this level, and we're done. So I'm going to go back and exit. I'll pause real quick so you can see we got 10 jiggies, 100 notes, 